Josh in this one portrait so we are working with a shot right here we got to a similar outcome but he probably definitely uses a different approach to get his edits quite a few blues and oranges super, super nice like matted look to the highlights just a really nice filmic look that goes really nice with these portraits that he's got so i'll be linking him down in the description i'll link up his youtube as well where he takes you behind the scenes super big fan of this I'm trying to achieve this really really nice smooth filmic faded warm stuff screenshot over here if we just look at the cropping first so if we just go reset yeah we're just gonna center in the eyes four by five pretty simple there's a little bit of brushing going on that's already applied and we'll go over that later so 1.2 for that really creamy so we've got 1.2 for that dreamy look 50 mil uh, quick shutter just to expose it right because of the, all the light coming in at 1.2 low iso because it's nice and bright and it was shot on a canon i believe dropping the exposure because we do look quite bright okay um so for this look you can see how like damp it's hard to describe but like a mac look i'm gonna drop the highlights and it removes a lot of that glow something like this so before i go too much further up here i'm just going to turn the curves on and explain why i did what i did down here so i don't think we need any color adjustments uh, i just dropped the curve down quite a bit because it's gonna give us that flatness that we want yeah i like working in this curve sometimes it just gives me a bit more control working work in this curve sometimes as well so we've got a little bit of a fade to those blacks so just a soft fade there touch of a fade to those bright bright white bring down most of the curve there i might come back to these and show you what they're doing when we turn them off and on and stuff so back up here like it's a bit dark so um drop the highlights even more I really think the subject is brought out with filters. We've got a few filters here, but we've got this one right here in the middle. And what I'm going to do is just up the exposure for this one, just to really brighten the center of the image here. Just let's increase the contrast and then warmth. Let's go with jumping that up a lot now we'll cool it off with some blues in the shadows the split toning i think things look quite green so at some stage throughout the edit i would have wanted to shift this to more of a purple just to make things more orange and less green um yeah uh whites we're good saturation we'll just quickly drop a few of these just to get things kinda in line. So back up top, I just wanna drop the clarity for the dreamy look, the natural look as well. You could describe it as maybe some vibrance and saturation up here. And then that might give me more room to play down in the HSL. Yeah, so we'll just go straight to split toning now like we're looking too warm but i knew we wanted blue in the shadows so we'll go for a bluey blue not teal too much so that cools off the shadows a lot uh, and then as for highlights i might just put a bit of warmth in there as well i'll just show you the before and after so you can see how we've just balanced out looks way more balanced now by putting those blues in the shadows and we still get plenty of warmth what we haven't done and definitely what we should have done at the start is enable profile corrections really brighten our image okay so i think we just need to fine tune things now so hsl i think our reds could be more orange so these are all the reds i think they could be more orange just judging it by my eye luminance is going to play a big role so I think this image has quite a glow to it. And I reckon it's the yellows, like her hair. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring up the luminance, the yellows. Saturation, keep oranges down a bit. Drop the luminance of the orange, cause that's like her skin. And I think that might help with the flatness his style has, maybe. We're gonna do it. And the reds might drop that a little. 
Okay, back up here. Maybe the blues. Yeah, the blues stay about there. Greens, there's not many greens in the image. A bit more orange. Reds can come down. And then just fine tune the colors. I think we look pretty good. Her skin maybe go towards the yellow. And then the yellows, especially in the back there, a bit more of an orange to those. I just don't see many greens. With the brushes and stuff, so some are already done. We brightened the middle with this one. So if I just get rid of that, if I press O, this is before, this is after. So it makes a really big difference just brightening our subject, especially around the eyes. So our next filter, this one, if I press O, this is where it's affecting down below here. And we're just darkening the bottom there, make her eyes and face the brightest thing in the image. Here we have some brushing going on. So what I did, I brushed pretty much everything where the light is already hitting quite hard. So here, I brushed a lot here, up here, sort of a dodging and burning effect of just making things pop that were already kind of popping. So if I turn that off, press O, the image looks a little flat and then I've sort of brightened the bright areas. Think of it as dodging and burning. Uh, the eyes here, so what I did is just brush eyes and then I added cool. I dropped the temperature to bring out all the blue in her eyes. So they go way more blue. And then we got the saturation to also help with that. So it's just her eyes with a bit of exposure as well, just so we could see a bit more in her eyes. Another brush here, which is adding in a tiny bit of contrast to those areas I've brushed. I don't know, maybe it doesn't need it. I don't think it's a giant change there, but, but yeah, that's what it's doing there. Maybe, maybe I could take it out. Maybe I'll just leave it in for now. Okay, we've got another one just on her skin here. So uh, if I press O, it's reflecting and we just drop the clarity quite a bit just to smooth things out a bit. And then contrast can look good if you apply it to skin tone sometimes to bring a bit more out of the skin tone. Just the eyes and eyebrows brushed and what we're doing, I think I dropped the temperature just to bring out the whites of her eyes so they don't look too warm. Bit of exposure to help brighten her eyes. Bit of contrast to help things stand out a bit more. Clarity, just to bring them out. Just because we dropped the clarity so much earlier in the image, this might help her eyes pop out a bit more. And then saturation, just to bring out a bit more color. Might actually look better without it, but we'll leave it there. One more, which is just a quite a broad brush over the eyes. Oh, so it's just a quick brush right over all of it. This was for shadows, just bringing up the shadows and then making the eyes pop a bit with the whites. Yeah, that's all that brush is doing. If I, I said I'll come back to the curves. So this is flattening our image and off and on. So it's darkening the image quite a bit. I think luminance played a bit of a role here, creating contrast between the oranges and yellows. Those blues were key to balance out the image. And then grain, I'd just add a little bit, something like that. Um, pretty big transformation there, so before, after we go just this and we go before and after yeah all right so go give him a follow down in the description and head over to his youtube as well if you want to see the behind the scenes of how he captures these images and keep commenting people you want to see on this youtube channel so i can reach out to them and ask them to be a part of it so and if you haven't already do the free training where i teach you the basics of color and the curves if you haven't watched that free training you won't be able to follow any of these youtube tutorials because you need to know how color and the curves work to be able to follow these youtube tutorials and you in the next one.